Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, characters of all shapes, sizes, denominations, and genders, welcome to Friend Friday, the show where we play games together and have fun because we're friends. I'm here with my friend Aww. Third. I'm here with my friend Dave. Ah. And we're playing more this guy. This guy, man. Oh God! This is our so protagonist. Odd. Hold on. John Disgaea. John Disgaea. This is our protagonist. This guy, uh, John. Uh, what guy? This guy. Yeah. But here we are. I'm moving my mouse all over the screen and shouldn't be doing that. Actually, now that I think about it. Oh, look at that! Look at that screen. Screen what wibblies? There we go. Oh no, the VC. Doesn't it feel like you're? Doesn't it make you feel like you're on a VHS or something? It's God. Do you even remember VHSs? I do. The the. the you fucking kidding me? You fucking kidding me? Kidding um, me bro? Th third has done some grinds. Yeah. Derv is now level thirty-one. Who's Derv? Derv. Who's Derv? Derv's our rogue. Who's going to be required to thief? We did it last episode. It's been like end. a month. It's been a month and a half, actually. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV got in the way. <laughs> we got all, all your favorites. Harlet and Aflon, Malhavica, Jelly Belly Cranch. Plenaire. Jeez. Jeez. Snow Cone. Dirt. Dirt. Good times. Um, and we are on chapter seven, where um, we have quote unquote killed all of the overlords. Or at all, least. All, all that one overlord. Yeah, all that one overlord. And now nobody will actually. Oh, and we, 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 we freed Etna from her terrible contract. Yes. That's it. But now we have to take on the roles and responsibilities of being Overlord mm. by helping uh, this kid uh, get his pet back. That's right. His pet's back. That's right. Also, for anybody that's curious, it's root beer, not beer. What? I opened a can. Oh. <laughs> why, why would anybody think it's beer beer? I don't know. You hear a fucking can go on a Friday night and you think, you know... I think horses, not zebras. God, no. Get me out of this tutorial. No. Go. Get me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so we are now technically overpowered, right? Uh. <laughs> no? No. No. Huh. All right. Well, let's know. continue. Like, we'll, we'll probably be fine for a few. Uh, episodes? Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold up. I gotta make sure we're stocked up on a certain item. Stealing hands. Plunder hands. Oh, yeah. You have, like, 345,000 health. I mean, that's not even that much. <laughs> well, look at how much space there is. You need to upgrade the, the... the custom or the product rank. I mean... Get on that freaking Senate. I've tried. I, I've tried to, like, uh, you know, game this by, you know, uh, trying to pass something and, you know, if it fails, just reload and try yeah. again. Like, trying to get improved counterattack and that. Mm -hmm. uh, gaming the Senate's hard. And also boring. It's very annoying. Yeah. It's basically just, yeah, a lot of, like, trying over and over and over again. Well, put like, it up for a vote, see what happens. I'm good luck. Nope. What the fuck? See, uh, one of the problems is... Um, There's more people in the fucking assembly. No, I, well, that's not necessarily a problem. Um, but let's uh, let's go back to... Uh, uh, more expensive stuff. Uh, only printies are allowed on the next map. But... I don't know what the butt is. Okay, I gotta look that up. I think their explosions might be bigger, or they can't explode, or something like that. Uh, um, let's find out what that is. But, uh, so more expensive stuff, right? To pass yeah. a bill, uh, you need half of the, um, 
assembly. Whoever's in the assembly. Yeah. Uh, in this case, you can see over there, uh, influence is 1337. Uh, yeah. Uh, we need half of that, plus the value of the bill. Oh, bullshit. So, you need half of that plus 90 to pass more expensive stuff. Uh, for something like improved counterattack, it would be half that plus 300. So, that shit. kind of funny. Yeah, let's uh, head on in. What is Printy Day? Sky PC. Or Sky oh. Up. So, Printy Day is only printies are allowed on the next map. And the uh -huh. bonus gauge becomes all prizes, so there's no, like, money or XP. It's just uh -huh. items. Uh, no, I think caffeine actually, you know, that stuff that keeps you going for just a little bit longer after a long day slash work week, and you want to enjoy it as much as possible, even at the expense of some sleep. Also true, I only work three days this week, and I'm still exhausted. <laughs> I recorded now three days this week, and I'm exhausted. Yes. Also a problem. I... I bet chat couldn't get guess which three games. I mean, they know of at least two. Well, yeah, but they couldn't guess. Hold on, I need to turn you down. You're a bit loud here for some reason. All right, you're good. Oh, well, there's one person in chat who could guess. No, shut up, Fen. <laughs> Fen. Fen might not know one of them. I don't know if Fen watches watches our episodes. Fen watches every single episode multiple times. He is half yeah. of the views on every episode. That, that checks out, actually. Yeah, actually. All right, I'm going to better do it this time. Go. Scorching wind. Scorch wind. That's when you uh, fart after eating hot peppers. Well, uh, Miss Edna, that's one of my pets over there. Why is he only polite to you? <laughs> all about the special training I gave him. Okay. Oh, I get it. It's the power of love. Hmm. Nah, they're both uh, very kid-shaped. Let's not go there. It's... Sure, whatever you say. Uh... A zombie. <laughs> A zombie it is. Hey, brat, don't tell me this is one of your pets. Hey, you got a problem with that? <laughs> oh, actually, I like it. You got good taste, kid. That's right. not what it sounded like. A zombie for a pet, huh? So how do we catch it? I'll do the same thing we always do. I guess that would work. I mean, zombies are already dead anyway. Let the massacre begin! That's what we're doing. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> You sure that's okay? Oh god. Well, he brought some fucking friends. XP plus All 100%, right. holy shit. So they are arranged in very great AoE lines. This is actually a really good, well, a decent enough leveling thing. So, Harl can hit that one. Probably kill them all. Mm -hmm. One. Uh, hmm. One would have to stay there, but then nobody else could come out. So I have to move last. Okay. Last one. Two. That. There. You might not kill them. Fawn's not that strong. It's hard She's for her to get the killing blow on things. She's not terribly buff. Sexy beam? Sexy, Sexy beam. beam. Uh, and it's heart-shaped. Yeah, it's heart-shaped. Which is kind of annoying. Etna hit that. Laharl. Blade Rush. Um, there. No, you're good. Um, no cone. You could probably drop a bunch of magic on those assholes. That's what I was thinking. Jelly Belly is level 36. So Jelly Belly doesn't really need the 
<laughs> Giga fire. Giga fire. All right, execute. See what uh, happens. Yeah. X that cute and see what happens. We're gonna have to get. Those are some very explosive holy arrows. Here I come. Oh, I didn't kill him. This is gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, it's no. not! Alright. Wow. Well, now we've got other mages that can also do things. Drop, yeah. Why don't you drop it on those guys? Yeah, because they're not. They're in perfect, like, bullshit positioning. Uh, oh, oh, Hogmeister, you betrayed us. Can't do that. There. Alright, snow cone. <laughs> we call her ice baby snow cone. Oh no. Oh no. She can only regular ice. Yeah, she hasn't got much use out of it. Oh, uh, what's uh, our, uh, what's our other mage? Giga win! Giga win! Bunnies! 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 It must be bunnies! Damn! Damn, these zombies are tough as hell! Anybody. Okay. I'm Yay! Out of something. You Two know what that means. Branch. Charge. I don't think we've gotten a sea tank yet. Maybe. What can Derv do? Derv's got some moves, I'm sure. Yeah. Derv's got no moves at all. <laughs> He's just gotten XP. He hasn't done anything. <laughs> uh oh. Derp's gonna die. Oh, wow. Well. That sounds about right. No! Perfect lines! Ah, Derp's fine. Now you know what they say. Zombies love brains, but they got no smarts. Fuck you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Fuck that one guy. <laughs> I go get him Cranch. A Wesker. Wesker. <laughs> Falco. Gerhard. It still makes Falcon. me sad that we didn't see the actual punch combo in Resident Evil 5 against Wesker. God, that was funny. Can we sexy beam? We can get a couple. A couple three. Right there. Let's see where we're at. Nope. Oh, jeez. Nope. That wasn't nearly as impressive as I thought it was going to be. Eh. It did you confuse that, that one. It did confuse that one zombie. Though. <laughs> Etna's like, check out my body. I'm so sexy. And fucking Jelly Belly is just like, explode, motherfuckers. 
Literally has nothing. Uh, Stop. Uh, Harl over here to finish that off. Um, Might and, as well start getting XP on Giga guys. Yeah, but it only hits one thing. Yeah, but it does more damage. The minus is better, right? I don't remember. <laughs> I, it's never it's fucking clear. never clear. Let me just fucking remember. look it up. Jesus. Modify the damage taken from attacks of the corresponding element. Decreased if positive, increased if negative. So if it is okay. a negative, they are weak against it. That is not it's not intuitive. It's like no matter not. which way it goes, it's not intuitive. It's annoying. We have one zombie left. Two okay. zombies. Oh that's gonna take it. Sometimes fine. Hey, they're all good. The time has come to murder. Alright. Blonde, you need XP. Hogmeister, you you're just kind of kill it. Blonde, and. Finish it off. Get that right. Sweet, sweet XP. Hey, look, we got Giga Ice 2. We got Giga Booty. Oh, I can't move you now. Oh, I can't. Oh, you don't go far enough. So just get Lahar the throw him. Just get Lahar the throw up there. You can also do that. Right uh -huh. up Main Street. Didn't matter anyway. A warrior's boo. Always save between rounds. Always. Column of fire. Ah, uh, boring. Quick and plain. Planning. <laughs> okay. You want to be a great overlord or not? You sure are serious today, Etna. I'm always serious. Besides, Prince needs to start acting more like his father. You mean King Kuchevskoy? No, his other father. Uh-huh. Back when I just started working in the castle, I was teased and picked on every day for being a commoner. You were? That's hard to believe. You were. At the time, I was still very naive. I was a scared little girl. Only thing that helped me get through those days was my faithful pet. One day, I found him dead. <laughs> okay, that took a Jesus turn. Jesus Christ. Fuck! <laughs> those damn demons killed him. What? That, that's like... <laughs> like, a, you know, an elf. Saying, those damn elves. <laughs> Uh, I was driving to work one day, and then my car exploded. What? <laughs> How cruel. Your poor car. No way to get back at them. I just cried. That was when the king reached out his hand to me. I told him what happened. He helped me bury my pet. And then we went on a murdering spree and killed all the people involved in, in my pet's death and their superiors. Uh, before he became king, he was uh, my, the king was known as John Wick. <laughs> 
must have been a kind man. Mm. And you could kill somebody with a pencil. <laughs> kind? I don't know what kindness feels like, but he was a great man and one that I respected. I mean, that's what kindness feels like. Sort of. That's why I pledged to him my deepest loyalty. But the prince, he's still not fit to succeed King Krachovskoy. Krychevskoy as the overlord. That's why you want Laharl to become just like his father? I see. You worry about Laharl after all. That's love! I doubt it. If he fails, I'll just kill him. Ah, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. That's a... You're starting to scare me. Starting? Me, an assassin who was sent here to kill King Krachevskoy in the first place. Yeah, but she obviously wouldn't do it. More zombies. Enemy boost times three. Oh, God. Yeah, it's time to get rid of that. Or uh, run back here. I mean, you could bottleneck them, yeah. You don't want to bottleneck them because then they're on the enemy boost. Uh. Where um, even is that? There. Oh, it gets rid of everything. Okay. Uh, then we chuck people. Don't forget, don't anybody need... that's on the red is going to get hurt by it, too. Yeah, well, that's the price you pay. It is that guy. It's no okay. Thacko, but it does make a modicum of sense. Okay, here's the thing. Modicum. Thacko is bullshit. <laughs> Thacko is 135% bullshit, which is more bullshit than anybody can reasonably handle. They made it the most complicated, least intuitive thing you could possibly imagine. Oh, whoop. <laughs> Wind cutter? Uh, but it's also enemy boosted. Yeah, we gotta do a lot so, of damage to it. We might not be able to kill it in one go. 304 damage. 132. 132. We'll kill it next turn. Uh Hello, sacrificial lambs. I mean you could also just throw other people. That they would also get hit. I mean, yes. Sam. You're not wrong. And then they'd get swarmed. Also. I guess. Um, who's good at throwing? Is that a stat anywhere? Mm-mm. Some Everybody are can... better than others. I don't think it all throw the same distance. Nope. Hmm. Like Etna, for example. Control 5. And a height of 32. Blonde. 4 and 29. Oh, okay. Usually, like, the, the martial characters are the best. So let's get cheese out here. <laughs> Have a good take a nap before bed. Have a good nap, I guess. Remember to drink coffee when you wake up, so you go to sleep prepared. Have nappies, but not that kind of nappies. Uh, if you throw plein air, she could hit it ranged with a ranged attack. Yeah, they have to get over there a bit closer, I think. Uh oh. Again. He goes so quick. <laughs> I I'm used to like bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. Ow, ow. 
And we got 120 chain. Oh, uh, not clear. It's even more damage. No. no. Yeah, it did like 51 more damage, I think. Okay, let's get the mages out here to do some damage. Yeah, that's not a problem. Delta split? What is that? Uh, apparently it hits one enemy. Yeah, but where does it put? Oh, it puts you like way off to the side? Huh. Weird. There's something else going on there too. Yeah. It says attack see, zone height problem. You can see the yellow spot. Yellow spots. There's only one yellow spot, right? Nope. There's one oh. under the move, and then there's one. Yeah. One towards the middle of the screen. Oh. Moves one, you to one, and the enemy to the other. Yeah. Uh, Whatever, it only hits one enemy, that's not helpful. I mean, they tend to be stronger. Holy arrows! Let's drop you right there. Get Jelly Belly out here. <laughs> Giga fire! Giga Pudi. Oh, wait, they're resistant. Yeah, why aren't you doing, like, massive cross attack? Huh? Because that's a lot more, uh, SP. So? These fights are over in three rounds. Sure up there, homestayer. Great job there, homegrown. Yeah, it's fire. Oh. No, 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 no. Later, though, let's remember. Honestly, barely remember Thacko. I was a kid back when I played that edition. When I got into D&D &D in 2001, I was in grad school, through when I was still new. Far more accessible for the players. That's what we were all playing. Yeah, and they realized that Thacko was kind of stupid, so they got rid of it. Uh, here's the basic idea of how Thacko works. Um, it's what you needed to roll to hit AC zero. Yes. But then you modified your roll and that end number by what the AC of the enemy actually was. So, if you need to roll a 15 to hit armor class zero, but the enemy has an armor class of 10, you subtract that from your target so you only need to roll a 5 or better. If they have an AC of 5, then you only need to roll a 10 or better. If they have an AC of negative 5, you need to roll a 20. It wasn't hard if you used it all the time. It was. It's very counterintuitive. It's, it's not... Like, everybody's like, ah, Thacko is impossible to understand. It's not impossible to understand. It's just difficult to use consistently. Annoying. Yeah. Oh, you put yourself in the danger zone, buddy. Highway 2. It, it it does bother me that zombies apparently have, like, uh, goblin fish spaces. Where the, the, like, mouth is extendable. Yeah, it's a little weird. You ever see a goblin fish? Yes. Yeah. A goblin shark? Yes, I have. Like, jut their whole fucking mouth out. Why the hell is cheese so weak? Cheese? Cheese is like level 13. Cheese hasn't been getting much, uh, much, uh, glory time, you know? Because, like, we already, we already got, like, melee characters. Uh, 5.0 is... I think it's, like, 8 years old? 2015? It's old. And honestly, like. But the thing I, about. I mean, it's accessible, but. Like. Eh. 
Well, so here's the thing. With D&D, they change the rules every, every edition to try and do one thing and one thing only. And that is to get more people playing. Because if you increase your player base, you get more players and you sell more stuff. Oh, see you. <laughs> Goodbye, cheese. Um, so when everybody's like, oh my god, 5.0 doesn't have all of like the the crunchiness and the good the good stuff in 3.5, it's like, yeah, it doesn't. Because that stuff is actually like a barrier to entry. <laughs> Sometimes. So, uh, I do think sometimes the, uh, like, oh, everyone's kind of the exact same that you have in 5th edition is also just, like, a barrier, like, oh, I can't be anything interesting. I mean, I haven't really played much of 5th, but what little I have played of it, I've been able to make a character that's completely different from the other characters that are playing. That are playing, but, like... Make a fighter, like uh, a level one, two, three fighter. Uh, you make another fighter. That, like stat-wise, you get like uh, the whole thing about a role-playing game is role-playing. So yes, yeah, you can make vastly different characters. Um, but that's not part of the actual system. You could do that without a system. I guess. Like I said, I haven't played enough five to. I think that's not gonna hit any. Solasta is very good, and in fact, if you go through the donation list of Solasta, you will see my name and Tyler's name. Woo woo! Because we both kickstarted it, or backed it, I guess technically. I have not kickstarted many games. Oh, uh, bye. I kicked. Uh, I kickstarted four games. Um, Solasta, uh, Phoenix Point, um, Hundred Heroes Chronicle, which isn't out yet, and what was the other one? The the one game I have kickstarted. Yeah. I haven't played. Because, uh, Torment Tides of Numenera. Ah. I have not gotten around to playing that yet. Supposedly it's good. It looks impressive. But I also have not oh. played much of it. That was just all money. What other game do you use? Oh, System Shock. Duh. System Shock Remake. Oh, no story on this one. <clears throat> so my problem with Silence. a lot of 5th edition... Damn it. Oh, God. No entry? Uh, oh, you have to shoot... You have to use ranged attackers only. And they can't use special attacks. Oh no. no. I mean, you could also shoot that. Yeah. That might be your, your best option right now. Come on. Um, the only Make experience... The only experience that I have with um, 5.0 is the uh, Halloween D&D stuff we did. With, hey, uh, uh, what's his name? I, I, I find, um, like, first edition is fine. Like, um, there's a lot better systems out there. Um, I, I feel like D&D is, like, the entry-level thing. Where, mm. like, once you, like, ah, oh, yeah, I like this. What other systems can I go enjoy? Because D and D doesn't quite have its own identity anymore. It used to be 
a, a, a dungeon crawler. <laughs> where you'd have to worry about traps, and you still have these, like, long lists of equipment that is basically a relic from the time. Um... Of, uh, a relic of the time where, uh... Those two can try and take that out. Um, uh, but the, the relics from the time where it was a. Uh, oh, God. Oh, well, that's just over here now. That's just rude. Um, uh, I think it's a damage. Uh, the relics of the time where it was just a dungeon crawler and not, like, anything else. Like, one of the things that I find most fascinating um, is watching watching stuff like Critical Role or um, in Dungeons & Dragons or stuff like that, you know, um, where it's a D&D &D podcast and they don't use, like, maps. I'm like, but how do you keep track of everything? That's just D&D, baby. Head. Yep. Jesus, how tough is that geo symbol? Uh, eight hit points. Up. Bonk. And then. Which actually kind of sucks. Oh, I can't jump that. No, you can't enter it. Oh. You, you, you took out the no lifting geo symbol. Now you gotta take oh. out the no entry symbol. Shite. Alright. So, uh, uh, I don't think that D&D &D 5e quite knows what it wants to be, in a hmm. way. Um, whether it wants to be that dungeon crawler, because I don't think it's designed for that kind of dungeon crawl anymore. You know right. what I mean? Um, and it doesn't really um, like fill any other niche. like niche. Because it's like it's very much designed on like a you know spells per day thing that they've cast. But fancy magic. Th that's very much a thing for you guessed it, dungeon crawling. Where, you know, oh, you only got so many resources, you gotta, you know, allocate them wisely. But then, like, half the time, it's just like, oh, the dungeon doesn't even play take place in the dungeon. Or the, the adventure doesn't take place in the dungeon. Or, you know, resting doesn't matter. There we go. Get the fuck out of here. Um... I mean, there's a very, um, very good, uh, like, I'm trying to do this while playing, like, act, I know. you know, do this, say this while, uh, playing, which is very, uh, very welcome tough to my, on your brain stem. Welcome to my recurring nightmare. Uh, there's a very good article, or not article, a video essay about it by Matthew Colville. So if you're interested in D&D &D stuff, go check out their... YouTube channel. But as far as d and I think you have a point in that it's like the entry-level RPG system, but they also give you rules for doing a lot of different stuff. Uh, so you can you can be like the the role player or the um, the dungeon crawler. They or They don't give you a whole lot for role-playing, actually. Like, well, uh, if you look at a lot of the setting books that they've put out, yeah. they are bare bones. Oh. Um, I, I, I say this as somebody who loved um, Spelljammer. Oh. Uh, they do not give you enough information on Spelljammer to make an actual, like, role-playing character. For, just for you to, like, try to make a role-playing character in Spelljammer, mm -hmm. you would have to, like, go and get all the extraneous stuff from previous editions 
because they just don't go into enough detail about you know the societies that exist. I think that's partially a function of their player base too, where it's like we want the freedom to make up stuff, and it's like, well, you can, but then we're not going to give you a lot of details. So, yeah, yeah no, the player base I feel is the one that's like give us more things, give us this information, please. But, yeah, there's, there's plenty of systems out there, and honestly, one of my favorite things to do is just look into and investigate different systems. Um, uh, I think more more people should, like, look into other systems for what they want to do. Like, I have Not no interest in actually playing any systems, because I don't have time. But, like, I've looked into uh, 7th C... Uh, obviously Battletech, um, the World of Darkness stuff, because why not? I find World of Darkness stuff to be very more rich and rules more, <laughs> for what that's worth. Um, I mean, it depends on if you're going for New World of Darkness or Old World of Darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's Old a... World of Darkness is very, um... Holy shit, there is a fucking novel you have to read. <laughs> to not, understand. Not just a novel, but like every Seven. novel. Uh, you cannot use specials, it's still silence. Um, but uh, there was another system I, I found. I find a lot of this stuff through TV tropes, by the way. Um, but there's a system called uh, okay, Hexfund Draconis. Which is, for lack of a better term, Hexon Draconis is uh, a furry RPG game, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but it's it's fascinating. Uh, Shadowrun Sixth. Uh, Continuum, which makes no sense to me. Oh God, the Continuum system is so insane. don't get it at all. Yeah. Continuum is role-playing time travel. And it's just the most confusing thing you ever done seen. You know what's a, a fun uh, system slash setting? What? Cthulhu Tech. Cthulhu Tech is interesting. A, um, it's Neon Genesis Evangelion meets Cthulhu. Yeah. There's also uh, Delta Green, which is um, Call of Cthulhu, but it's not 1920s, it's 2020s. Uh oh, I think it's time. Whoa! Jeez. These zombies aren't challenging at all. They're just plain bothersome. Well, they do come back to life after you kill them. Hey, Brat. Is it okay with you if we tear your, your pets to shreds so they won't bother us for a while? Go ahead. I take them apart and put them back together again all the time. I used to do that, too, when I was a kid. Ah, those were the days. Stop reminiscing about your childhood. Do all demon children play that way? Don't worry. Just those two. Nope, more zombies. It's not the time. We got attack. Oh, red is, is good time for the green attack. Is Let's see if we can get everybody down here. Good luck with that. Uh, no. uh maybe a. Derb needs uh, some, some weapon XP. Sure. Uh, maybe plain air over here. Uh, on right I, here. I see what you're doing. Okay. End turn. Oh. <laughs> Fuck that one guy. Flan could have finished him off. Yeah. Ready? 
hurting you. You hurt your friends. Oh my god. I wish there was a button to speed along anime. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Just Desk. How about them? Uh, to answer your question, it's going pretty okay. Um, this week was kind of a nightmare in a couple of different ways, but other than that, you know. Oh, I can't hit anybody. So just attack them. Yeah. I mean, you're doing 100% more damage. I hate how it prioritizes, like, the worst ones first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get Vasquez. Ooh. It's on now! It's on now! Yeah, that's what Dave sounds like. Southern. It's on now! It's on now, motherfucker! You wanna go? You wanna Let's go, go. You, you Yankee bitch? You wanna... Oh, what a... What do they call a... 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 a, a scrum in, in Canada. A uh, scrum? Uh, it starts with an R. I think it starts with an R. Do you wanna have a Donnybrook? Uh, oh, yeah, Donnybrook. That starts <laughs> with an R. <laughs> <laughs> And I have a Donnybrook. That's all. I mean, a Donnybrook isn't just a fight. A Donnybrook is a fucking bench court. It's on now. Oh, yeah. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Got to gather. There. Got to gather. Got to gather. Ah, you useless. Look, I don't understand how to use the sword yet, alright? Point and click. You point the pointy bit at the enemy and you click. <laughs> you click it into the chestal section. Hack the one in front of you, Might want to use the power of love, actually. Ah, we're good. We just have to, when there's not, when we're not going to hit the zombie as well. Oh! You got shot. Down again. So apparently, I was looking up stuff, well, I was looking up random stuff, and I found that there's actually a state in which this game will softlock in item worlds. Ah, uh, yeah? Yep. So, it's possible... Oh, before going into it. Yeah. It's possible to get, um, yeah, you definitely want to use Power of Love now. It's possible to get a uh, geo symbol that allows for um, infinite counters, but it's also possible to get a geo symbol that reverses damage, so hurting heals and healing hurts. Mm. But you're infinitely countering third, <laughs> so you can never you can never defeat your enemy. You're just going to constantly punch back and forth, back and forth forever. And the only way out of it is to reset the game. I believe it. I don't know if they took it out of the ports, because it seems like the kind of thing that they should have, but I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me if there was also a way to soft lock by having certain effects on a on these like, you know, symbols on these yeah. pads. Like no lifting and invincible or something like that. Yeah. And you not being able to k 
kill the guardian, like around a little, like go to the next floor. Right. Yep. Only thing to do there is reset the game. That's why you include a, uh, a geomancer on your party. You mm -hmm. shuffle up the geo symbols. Yeah, I didn't know that was a possibility. Yeah, we've done it once. Oh. It does take a lot of SP. God damn it, that one guy. Magic pixel. That magic mic pixel. Well, that was handled. Ooh, plus 500 Our XP. Team. This is probably the... Yep, probably one. that one thing that I do know about, and Third is upset that I know about it. Yeah, well, chat doesn't necessarily know about it yet. Here we go. Save it. Right, hold on. <laughs> Ember of Dreams. Okay. You can tell it's important because it's voice acting now. <laughs> Kill one and another appears. Zombies, zombies, zombies. I'm getting sick and tired of this. You better stay alert or else you'll be sorry. Okay. Check out that zombie. What about it? That big ass, like, horn. Okay. Amateur. That is my masterpiece. The fists of a dark karate master. The legs of the fastest demon in the netherworld. The brain of mahogany. A famous sorcerer. The iron body of Hercules. And a horse wiener. All combined <laughs> into one. The netherworld's ultimate <laughs> zombie. And the horse wiener. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Horse wiener? Now, that's dangerous. Guys, don't let your guard down. <laughs> oh, oh, and for anybody that's curious as to, oh, did you make sure that the gloves were in the items that you could use? Oh, shit. Oh, might have to restart. Might have to restart. We bought those so that oh. we could steal it. Yes. I chose the right night to Yes, be you here. did, Sam. <laughs> All right, check or your items it. before you do anything else. Uh, you, you got, got some. Two. No, you got some of the top right. two. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're good. So, uh, where is he? Uh, in the back there. Horse wiener! <laughs> so, our goal, our unofficial goal right now, is to steal the horse wiener and as much of the other stuff as possible. Mahogany's so brain, the Hercules' horse wiener, body. The horse wiener is imperative. <laughs> it's an item, yes. <laughs> we can, we can, can choose to equip can, it anywhere. We can, can equip this on Etna. Can, can we go back to talking about can, how the most important thing is to steal the horse wiener and, like, yeah. edit that? <laughs> we must. <laughs> A little bit. We must steal the wing. Okay, so so no. Okay, got it. All right, what's the green geo symbol? Ah, uh, defense. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we want to lure them away from defense. I think. Let's uh, let's just uh. Defend. Enter. Perfect. We got some. Do any of the other lady. ones have anything worth stealing? Um, no, we want to save all our our hands. All of our hands go to the horse wiener. <laughs> you could say we got to put our hands on it. No, no. It's, this is uh, going to be a uh, really tough hand job uh, getting that horse wiener. Control Z. No. Here I come! 
be a tough job, but you know, I think we're up to the task. It's a stiff job. <laughs> Use special gloves to handle it. <laughs> yep. Mmm, okay. Damn it! Uh, they keep one? getting that fucking magic pixel. But there is, you get him. We don't want to put our backs to that, because we don't want them standing, stopping right. there. Alright, Derv, you're going to be the one coming in clutch here. Are you sure? He's, he's got... He's a rogue. But if he he's dies... A better healing. You want to bring him out this early, is what I meant. Well, I mean, that guy's gonna die. That guy's probably gonna die. Like, we've got five more people to put out there. This guy's dead. Alright. Bullseye. Bullseye. Put Malhavica there so they can't, uh, tornado that way. Mm hmm. Belly go there. There. Now they can't tornado that way. So you're safe, Derv. Yay! Ah. Uh, that is absolutely Grant. untrue. Snow cone, get out here. And turn. You Ow. sons of bitches. Ow, ow. Poor Madaris. He's, he's gonna die. No, oh, he's, he's, he's... He's a buff, fancy boy. Right, he's got that stupid chaos. I hate these types of, like, targeting things. Seems like a big waste to use that on one target. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, Braveheart. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, they're all resistant to fire. Lame. Poor Jelly Belly. How does it even make sense? They're zombies. They're weak to ice. Uh, we're working on uh, World War Z rules. I guess. Where, where cold is the actual killer of zombies? Ooh, triple combo. Oh. Triple combo again? Damn. What is two mages? <laughs> oh, he's asleep. Perfect. Ooh, I have specials now. Hey, what specials do you have? Yeah, footy. Oh, no, sure. It's okay. I will live probably. No. All right, plan air. Take out Ernst. <laughs> Thank you. Get. Uh, Madaris can still move. Wind. Yoga wind. It's a shame that can't move him like a foot to the or a square to the right. Right. Just drop him in the lava. Wait, could you throw them in the lava? No. You can't even like go in there. So you can't throw people in there. Lame. Everybody's done a turn. Damn. 
No. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. oh goodbye, Snowcone. You are actually our good sorcerer on this one. Uh, oh, yeah, they came out now. Well, at least we don't have to worry about killing Otto. Not with that much HP. Doesn't do a terrible amount. Oh god damn it! Fucking magic pixel, I'm telling you. Oh shit! Boo shit! Oh, shit that. We'll see if. So, yeah, let's see if we can kill this. We got another Wesker. You might want to have Flom use healing. Ah. All good. Can you say so? Ta-da! Okay. If you go there, it can't zombie tornado. Right. Unless it moves, which it will. I mean, then it would only get one person. You can just lift it, and then it can't do anything. Yeah, but then I'd take damage. So? you take less damage than if you weren't lifting it. Actually, speaking of taking less damage, let's take out... Let's just take out the magic. There you go. Get. Uh, Medeiros is gonna die. There's my guy. Yeah. Oh, Enough. very close. Time for the power of love, baby. Everybody, gather around. Everyone who's hurt, gather around. Get you some of that uh, sweet, sweet. And then I can move love. you back. No, nope. only one of the sorcerers can get healed. So stupid that you can just move people back <laughs> like that. I love it. So dumb. Tactical games, baby. Ugh. You're not thinking tactically, Dave. Oh, I am. Don't worry. Lead rush there. Wait, one of those guys is Otto. Yeah. I'm not gonna kill him with one blade rush. Okay, it's fair, but also be careful. Also, damn, I just realized how much HP these zombies have. Holy shit. Here I come. See, not enough. Take a fur. Oh, you got bonus one. Nice. I want to use the best one. 55%. All right. Got to do it. Oh, I can steal their sex appeal. <laughs> that's... AKA their speed. That's a thing? All right. Okay. That's a special rogue thing. Right. Ah, oh, fail. All right. Flan already Next. healed everybody. Brothgar? Brothgar? 
Did they steal Hrothgar from Disgaea? No. They stole Hrothgar from various fantastical stories. What you're saying is they stole it from Disgaea. Yes, they stole it from Disgaea third. You you caught them. Bastards. Don't kill Derb. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I'll put the um, Jelly Belly back in the bin. Yeah, I know. What was the... the name of the character? No, that's the name of the character in Bear. Here goes. Oh, oh John actual... Beowulf? Shut up. <laughs> Saga. Oh no, it is just Beowulf. Shut up! Get out of my office! <laughs> we gotta use our best. <laughs> we did it! We stole the horse wiener! <laughs> we, got the ho we gotta get the rest now. Madaris can go away for a little while. Let's bring out Sagi. With her like fucking cat, cat. Jesus Christ, that gun is bigger than she is. Ha. So getting the other stuff would be nice, but we really wanted the horse wiener. Yes, we are going to try and get everything else. Don't even look at me like that, woman. Just get out. You require an explanation on the horse wiener? No. She's not going to get one. You deny your own wife a horse wiener? I deny her an explanation of it, yes. Just remember that once you steal Hercules' body, his HP is probably going to drop, right? I don't know. Uh-oh. Swan dead. No, oh, but Cleo, Cleo definitely is. <laughs> Alright. Sharbert. Just like goes into the panel, disappears, and then just like pops back up. Surprise! <laughs> It was you me all along, was motherfucker! Does the power of love hit Flan as well? No. I don't know. It specifically does not. We'll find out anyway. Okay. At the very least, it's hitting Dave. Durr. Not Dave. Does not hit her. That's fair. Alright, Derp. Item. We don't. We've got the horse we wiener now. <laughs> An, An item, item feared even, even by Lothar. Etc. Wiener. <laughs> yep. It gives 110 attack! Holy yeah. shit! Horse wiener. <laughs> Alright, let's take that. Try and get that brain. Nice! The brain. Giga win. Giga win! Nope. Nope. Okay, um. Might as well uh, start with I'm... the beatdown. I was gonna actually lift, but. Oh! Yeah. Well, you can also do the lift, that's fine. Alright. We're getting him weak. Now he can't move except the twister, of course. Yep. Uh, let's try not to give him ample 
Well, Asagi's fine where she is right now. Well, no, she can only attack in straight lines. Yeah. I think everybody's moved. Derp! Uh. Alright, it's all on you, Derp. Use that plunder hand. Ha-ha! Yeah, 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 the greatest rogue! I don't think his HP dropped at all. I don't think it did either. Shame. Kick a win! Just fucking go ham! Uh, Lahar will attack last. Won't be necessary. The boost. It won't be necessary. This guy has a lot of HP, but not a lot of defense. Okay. Let's see who's, who's gonna get the killing blow here. Bonk, bonk. Hogmeister. It's Hogmeister. Hogmeister. Dune, Dune Eagle. Eagle. Nice. <laughs> and more importantly, Horse Wiener. Here, I caught them all. <laughs> so quit your complaining. What? What's the problem now? Thank you, Your Highness. Huh. Well, it is part of my job as the Overlord. Or so I'm told. Don't bother to thank me. If you want to show your gratitude, you can repay me with your body. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, you have a horse wiener. <laughs> hmm. I never knew you were like that. Ah, idiot! I meant become my vassal and serve me when you're old enough. Sure. Yes, Your Highness. Speak to me with respect from now on. Got it? Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> Did you hear that, Edna? That kid called me Your Highness. So, do you accept me as Overlord now? Well, you passed for the time being. But, be careful not to flunk out. Ugh, why you? <laughs> Talk about strict. Still, Laharl has changed quite a bit since the first time I met him. He is maturing little by little as he meets new people. And it feels like I have changed too, since meeting him and his companions. I feel like I've turned into a homicidal maniac now. <laughs> I like it! If you open your heart, you will surely grow and learn many new things. And I've opened up the hearts of many of my enemies with my arrows. <laughs> I'm thinking of transitioning to knives. Hashtag not all demons. But definitely all cops. Definitely all cops. Of being an overlord. Those seemingly innocent grinnies. It. it turns out they were hiding. Forgot about the secret. It wouldn't be a secret <laughs> if it wasn't hidden, dude. When the grinnies evil spirits join one, they form Pringer X. The mighty super robot! Dude, we can't do that! Here goes! Pringer Spiral Plasma Tap! Gotcha! Pringer Aurora Triangle Kick! This is it! Pringer Spinning Drill Attack! I like how they have, like, actual... Uh, hello? <laughs> Next, on Lovely Mad Scientist Edna, Episode 8! Farewell, Pringer X! Dude, you're killing us all? No worries! Pringer X will be reborn as the more powerful Pringer Z! I'm telling you, it ain't gonna happen, dude! <laughs> I can't remember if Pringer X is in this game or a later one. Probably a later one. Just I know it exists. Fuck with us. Red Moon, Red Moon. Senses the sinful and makes them anew. 
shining brightly in the night sky, looking for the souls. Be born again tonight. Who will be born again tonight? That text is not properly centered, and it's actually kind of annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> it would be centered if it if it stopped earlier. Yeah. <laughs> All cops are badgers. Yep, yep. Uh, I've determined I know what uh, shirt I'm going to get or what present I'm going to get my brother for Christmas. Mm-hmm. A, um, a T-shirt that says ACAB on the front. Mm-hmm. And on the back specifies all cats are bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of true. My cats are great, though. Who indeed... Well, don't try to stop them. What? Huh? Just let them be. They were finally able to atone for their sins. Huh? The only thing we can do now is pray for their happiness in their next lives. We are killing off the pretties. Hell yeah. Is this what they mean when they say fly by night? No. What the fuck? <laughs> um. They're being reincarnated. Yes. You seem different from other prinnies. Yes, I'm a girl. I'm pink. That's <laughs> how you can tell. I'm also not an idiot, and I don't say dude. Uh, uh, every every uh, uh, guy anthropomorphic anthropomorphized thing is just kind of that thing. Yeah. But the girls get get to be pink and have eyelashes. That's how you can tell. Are there right, eyelashes? Just, you know, I'm thinking like other. Oh, well. It is a common trope that like you anthropomorphize like an animal or a thing. <laughs> and it's just a thing if it's a guy. But it has to be feminized if it's a girl. You don't masculinize it if it's a guy. I you guess. You do feminize it if it's a girl. Were you the one who gave me medicine when I lost my pendant? Well, what are you talking about? You even speak differently than the rest of them. No, I don't, dude. Well, what, what do you mean, dude? <laughs> I'm the same as the others, dude. <laughs> I understand. You have your reasons, right? Okay, then. I'll just direct this to whoever might be listening. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Lon? Since you came, the prince has changed, dude. <laughs> You really think so? Sure, dude. Thank goodness! The, the voice actress is just like in the booth like, really, you want me to read this? <laughs> just just as it says. Dude? <laughs> it's like not even spelt right. How do... They okay. say that I see things the way I want them to be, so I wasn't sure if Laharl has actually changed or not. But it can't be just my imagination if you noticed a difference too. Oh, right! That means Laharl is definitely awakening to the idea of love! Oh, God. Love is magnificent! Oh, you're gonna <laughs> kill him. It surely is. <laughs> kind of a cool song, actually. Episode 8, Reincarnation. La la la. What? Like I said, several prinnies are missing. Why? <laughs> How should I know? Maybe they ran away because you treated them so badly. Hmm. Come to think of it, 20 hour workdays with no days off was a bit harsh. <laughs> In conditions like that, it's no wonder that they chose to fly by night. That's not what that means. Fly by night? Is there something you're not telling us? So maybe no, that's what it means it in this on. universe. It's not what that means at all. Prince. Hmm? What? 
Don't worry, they'll be all right. Dude. Dude. I'm not worried about them. If people hear that I let my vessels escape, I'll lose all respect. That's why we're gonna find them, even if it is a big waste of time. That's so mean. You don't have to say it like that. Take it easy, Flan. He's just too embarrassed to admit the truth. The, the, what do you call it? The kerning or whatever? The, like, space uh, between the letters? Kerning, yep. Yeah. On that admit. Yep. Just that very M. frustrating. <laughs> Get the M's. M's crowd and others. Yeah. It's What's like they the... wanted to monotype it, but they didn't do it right. <laughs> I think. Now remember what we gotta do. Gotta go to the bathroom. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Hatred. More and more is coming back to me with each passing day. Oh. What? We might have forgotten the last one. No, we didn't. Remember the time, the time the king and queen first met. Demon falling in love with a human? I feel like the king was going somewhere out of my reach. His happy face, the first time I saw his smile. My heart ached. As I watched the king smiling, I felt my hatred for the queen grow. My loyalty to the king, I felt like all my feelings were being ignored because of that woman. And then the prince was born. Son of the king, the son of that woman. I was torn by opposing feelings back then. Things have started to change recently. My feelings towards the queen ended before I could deal with them. Eternal loyalty. We did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. It, it has been like a month and a half. Yep. And we, we stopped at the very beginning of that chapter. <laughs> Just checking. All right, we're all good here. Yep. So now we've got a horse wiener to equip. We also got Hercules' body, which does what? Mahogany's brain. So the body is 250 HP and a bunch of defense. Okay, that's pretty good. Mahogany's brain is a lot of act. Int. int I also got a coffee maker. All right. That has a marksman. And then the horse wiener, of course. A lot of attack. Speed, speed. hit. And sp that speed looks like it's coming from that master. Which, yes, that's one thing. We could go into the horse wiener. Can we <laughs> please not do that? <laughs> I just... If we could take this horse wiener all the way. Oof. That's a sentence. Coffee maker increases sleep resistance. Yeah, not super important. Nope. Uh, let's save the game. And, uh, yeah. Equip. Uh... Moon is SP. That devil ring is really good. Yeah. We'll replace this dark rosary with a horse wiener. Sure. Which means uh, you should you. give Hercules' body to Cleo, the cleric. I think we just need to level up Cleo. Yeah. Yeah. Man, even well, that doesn't it, do that it, much. Yeah. It's not great. I, I, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give one of our main characters. All right. Wait, that it's actually lower? worse than the muscle yeah. victory. Because <laughs> wow. that gives HP plus 300. It does boost her oh. defense by a fuck ton, though. How about. Oh, Mahogany's Brain should go to one of our casters. Yes. 
Um, like Jelly Belly is our biggest one. And also have Hercules' butt. I mean, sure. And then we'll we'll go level them up later. Yeah. But you should also heal. Alright, and we'll head on out. Oh. What, does Zombie over there? He's bragging about having an important hint for you. Let's go talk to him, I guess. Today I'm gonna give you a... Pretty straightforward head. Do it in a zombie voice. Huh. That's a very straightforward hint. I don't think you can call that a hint. Alright. So, Lunar Snowfield. Got it. Theater of Death. Of death. Nice. We already had, like, a snow one. That's the same field. That's the same art. Guess well. What do you want from them? Oh. No dial. Enemy boost times three? Ugh. Oh, look at that guy. Ooh, big beefy That beefy. guy's full of eyes. Uh, tryptophobia. Tryptophobia? Something like that. Tryptophobia. There's only the one T. Uh, so you can't... It's actually not a fear of eyes, it's a fear of holes. Yeah, and eyes are holes in the face. Well, that's not usually what trypophobia means, though. There is nowhere safe here. Like, at all. Well... You could throw you people over there, there, yeah. What's that's the one up here? Defense minus 50. Uh... So, you could make everybody really strong, or you could make everybody really vulnerable. Or you could delete them both, I guess, but... Yeah, I think just getting rid of the one is more important. Uh, but how to do said thing? <laughs> everyone we throw is gonna fucking die. It's true. This is a bad situation. You could also try fighting them straight up, but that seems like a bad idea. Oh, that defense. That's actually not that much defense, considering. I mean, it's going to be boosted by times three, right? Yeah, yeah. I suppose that's true, and I'm sorry I keep yawning, everybody. Apparently I'm very tired. Still... Let's chuck many people over there as we can. In fact, all right, all right, we're gonna do the full full ten stack. Full ten stack, got it. We're gonna send uh, some, make sure some uh, expendable people are here. Oh no, I'm expendable. Two more to dispatch. All right, it's gonna be two casters. Go map. Uh, yeah. All right, time to start chucking people. Or oh, cheese. Chucked right in front of that guy. Just make sure you hit that thing really hard. Oh, 
I think you might have overestimated how far away this thing was. Right, but now everybody is over here to like wail on it next turn. And like stack up for when everything I mean, comes you could also have Laharl just use a special and murder the fuck out of it. I mean, I don't think it's gonna kill it. I guess. Although he does have the horse wiener now. <laughs> so Oh he yeah. got it. He All done right. got it. Done did it. Goodbye. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Steppies. Derby got stepped on. I didn't like it in Resident Evil 8 and I don't like it now. <laughs> so now, before you do anything else, what you should do is put that 50 def minus 50 defense to your symbol down. Mm. So what we could do, actually, which will be fun. Uh, Cranch? Just lift that for now. So now it's got the 50% on, and at the end of the turn, we can put it back. Yep. Ah, tactics games. <laughs> <laughs> Have a... Usagi drop. Usagi, Usagi. Cheese, um... Skull Splitter. Try not to you. die. Giga Putty. You. Giga Putty. Execute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. An attempt was made. Good enough. Um, nope. A sexy beam? Nope. Just right now. Nope. Alright. And turn. Oh! Oh, oh you I forgot to put, put the thing down! Yeah, I did. Wow, really? I would have thought cheese would take more damage, but okay. Especially with all that defense down. Well, goodbye. This game is very nebulous with its damage. Alright, let's see what what's that thing. It's a lot better than trying to hit that other thing. Yeah. Hey! You got a fire! You know? Oh, okay. You have random weaknesses now. Yeah. Yay! Belly. Get it, fucking jelly belly. <laughs> Who's gonna get the bellies? With the bozers. The bozers. <laughs> Good job, Plenair. Uh, Delta. I want to try that. Kind of. Wait, oh, God damn it! Just move two steps in front of Plenair. There you go. Nope. No. That's like they definitely got better being able to move. Yeah. Oops, pardon me. Put down the geo symbol. 
Yeah, it's gonna kill her next time. Alright, and... Man likes the stompies. It doesn't seem to be doing less damage. Maybe Stomparama is based on Int instead of er, Spirit or whatever it is. Could be. Oops, uh -huh. Boom! Ah! ah. ah. <laughs> All right, Jelly Belly. Time has come for you to murder. Uh oh. Oh, well, she's dead next turn anyway. It's gonna be a lot of casualties third, but as long as we're not the ones killing them, it's fine. That's what these tactical games are all about. Mm -hmm. Some of you may die, and that's but that is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. <laughs> oh, Lord Farquaad. Nice. Oh, no. Bitch. More like Lord Fuckwad. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Oh, what? what huh? mm -hmm. There you go. Bonk. I really want a steppy. Bonk. Bonk. We finally got cheese. Cheese stuck it out. Cheese is a real one. <laughs> Pour cheese one out for your homies. Cheese. Drop a 44, my homie. Why are you only doing regular attacks? Because they tend to be, like, the same. Like, uh, I can't check the damage here. Like, these don't... Like, these are designed for, like, specials or AOE-type things. I guess. Oftentimes, your best option is to attack. Like, I could Usagi drop, I guess. No, 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 no. Rapid fire. Or a proximal shot? Proximal shot might work. Oh, fucking flan. I think she can't hit anything from there. The power of love. Holy arrows. Oh, you can do it with holy arrows. Sure. There you go. Oops, Boom, bitch! Get out the way! <laughs> Get out the way, bitch! Get out the way! So this, for sure, gonna be like some of these specials. Oh, I didn't put the thing back down. Oh, well, Branch is gonna die. Bye, Branch. You were a real one. More unfortunately, the defense minus 50 is now, you know, permanently on the field, so... It didn't seem to be affecting us that much. Not that much. To be honest. Gotcha. Get him in the power of melee. My my grinding has not overpowered this. Yeah. I'm surprised it went for plain air and not flan. This plain air is about to die. He's trying to kill her. Yeah, but plain air is stronger. Usually yeah. they go for the weaker characters. 
Right, which is plein air because she has less HP right now. <laughs> so dumb. Hooray! Victory achieved! Sword Staff! Let's revive everybody! Mm -hmm. snake, snake kidney! kidney. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. You wanna drink that? No! I'll blend it up. Yeah. Let's see, we got two prong claw. blade and a great sword and a mortus blade. Sounds like a meaningful name, but it's not. It's not really that, that great. Black Knight now hiring. What if it's actually aluminum? Used by kung fu fighters everywhere. If you just did contact your physician. Oh, God. That's a big gun. Wait, we should see if Plein Air can use the new needle that we picked yeah. up. The Ion 8K Ninja. Ray gun that shoots out energy beams. The rust? Get in and fall asleep forever. forever. A magical axe. Bye now! I mean, you have plenty of money. You could probably go on a bit of an upgrade spree. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> you did choose the right uh, stream to. To watch. On, Jesus. You're not gonna buy anything. Uh, I'm gonna see what we have. No. So a harl. Attack 100. A... Yeah, definitely you can get a better sword. Alcan Lance 60. Sprite Bow is 47. Oh yeah, we could definitely get better weaponry. We could also... Actually, before we do that... Oh, try... Try uh, getting more better items. items. Which we can barely afford anyway. But all right. Uh, more expensive stuff, please. Oh. Hey! That one actually had a lesser requirement. There were less people in the assembly today. Well, every time you go in. Oh, okay. Yeah, now there's a different amount of influence. Okay. So that's part of it. You can, like, game, try and game the system. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Like, shuffling the assembly. Let's see what, uh, what we got now. A fake fist? Please look at the description for fake fist. More macho than your real fist. All right. Evil thwarter sword. Try not to pick your nose with this. <laughs> Dangerous Glove, but that's not funny. I'm just gonna equip it too. Not that great. Sword used by Psychics, duh. Used to Covered in poison. 185 is an 85 point bonus to damage for Laharl. But it's 92,000 hell. It's a, it's a, like, look at, look at that fucking attack boost. Yep, it's pretty good. Yeah. Go for it. It's only money. Grants the power of the wind god. See it. I mean, we want to buy the best we can for our main characters. Sure. Bow of justice. Now officially a defender of justice. Oh, made out of silver, maybe. Makes you want to. <laughs> it's a bow flex. <laughs> Fuck you, game. 
Oh my god. <laughs> so dumb. A good reaction. <laughs> Let's see what we actually have. The Dune, the ZK Auto 13. All right. Oh, we gotta have more rods. Sword staff. Oh yeah, that's yeah. great. Hibernum staff. The downgrade. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what about Cranch? That's an upgrade. Cranches. Cranch is Cranch. Do we have new gloves? We do. We have a swift knuckle. With nooks? Get them nooks! Hot nooks in your area. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Get him some Bushido armor. Awaken to the way of the warrior. Uh, actually, do you have that Bushido armor back? <laughs> no, I just got. Oh. Give this to. This is the way, like, any, uh, all gear works in these games. It's like, it's a trickle-down system. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, do we have a better axe? We have a better axe. For Chez. Hell yeah. Pretty good one. I like how she's wearing two leather jackets. Uh, Emu has literally nothing. He our, our, our geomancer scout guy to manipulate geo symbols. At least give him a better gun. Right. Yeah, you can use that dude eagle. Oh, of Havoc. <laughs> Three pairs of glasses. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, who who do we want to have our other Imperial seal? Like these are, uh, this is also leveled up. Uh, these are things that are great for item leveling because they affect all stats. Yeah. Where was I? Uh, who gets it? can replace that with older Imperial Seal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, this, this Imperial Seal is like, this is the base level. It's the cheapest. So we'll have to level that one up. Yeah. I think we're probably pretty good. We're not what using about, those guys. What about, what about Derv? Derv can use some stuff. Derv can use that seal. Have this taser sword. Sweet. This is an adversary with electricity. Sure, can have this muscle spirit and the seal. Sweet. Arc, arc. And then heal. And then save. The Lunar Snowfield again! For the Frigid Fr Garden. The Frigid Garden. Hey! Huh? Hey, you! Huh? What? What's up? Uh, me? Yeah, you! That's you rude. You really don't know anything about the Prinnies? You've been acting weird ever since this morning. I don't know anything. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you! Rude. What? Yeah, what the hell? Lahara, I have a name and it's Flan. It's not Hey or You. Oh, well, okay, You've that's... You've never called me by my name, not even once, since the first time we met. That's legit. So, what's it to you? People 
people's feelings are delicate. They can be hurt by just the slightest insult. Laharo, you are too inconsiderate. You should approach people with more love. The Prinnies ran away because you have no love. What? You stupid love freak! Who do you think I... There. That's the attitude I'm talking about. You'll never become a respected overlord with an attitude like that. Flan, that doesn't seem like the kind of advice an angel should be giving. <laughs> it sounds actually like the exact kind of advice. Hey, leaders need to lead, not expect. Not. What do you know about being an overlord? They need to earn respect, Forget not demand it. it. I'm not talking to you anymore. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's see. At least there's no geo symbols this time. But what do we got? That's a lot of dudes in a single line. A little cross of dudes up here. More dudes. What are, than... what are they looking out at? You know, the scenery. These guys are all looking in different directions. These wait. Do we just like come across those... a bunch of enemies and we're like, we're gonna take out our frustrations on you? Third, third. Wait, stop. Mm -hmm. Go to that first one right there. Mm -hmm. One, two, four, eight. 16, 32. Mm. That's weird. 4, 32, 16, 8. Is that true for the other ones too? Sixteen, two, four, eight, one. Yeah. Okay. That's weird. Why is that a thing? What is the significance of this? I mean, it's... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Then let's Overlords wrath them. Ah! Bite the dust. Bite the dust! Oh, hell yeah. Makes you feel powerful, doesn't it? Sure. I do feel like there's some significance there that we're not getting, but who knows? Not getting yet. Uh, at, uh... Like, don't even worry about that level one asshole. Yeah. Oh, you know who can worry about it? Cranch. Cranch. Also, I kind of like this song. I mean, it's sad, but it's nice. It's melancholic. Wow, what? Good, good job, Swan. How did you do zero did. damage? Planair, you and Swan can go that way because you're ranged, so you can catch up easier. Oh. <laughs> That would I cost most how many, of your... How many patterns there are. Look at the like size of the locker. window. Well, I don't think it goes that far. Uh... I could be wrong, but I don't think it goes that far. You could look it up, but... I am looking it up. There are nine... One, two diagonally, three in a line, four in a two by two square, five in a cross shape, six in a three by two rectangle, seven in an eight shaped formation, eight in a ring around the target panel, and nine in a three by three square. That makes sense. So there's nine total, which means this window is badly designed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Cranch, get in on this. Get in there, Cranch. Or don't. Oh, yeah. Nice Etna combo will do it. Perfect. And leveled up.
It's an interesting looking sword. That is laser sword. Taser sword. Oh, taser face. <laughs> My name is Taser Face. <laughs> what sword is Laharl using? The psychic sword? Um, I don't know. That's a weird looking one. No, evil the evil quarter. quarter. All right. That looks like something that gets choked up your butt. Also, Lahar uh, left-handed. Hmm, interesting. No, he's right-handed. Uh, on that, well, because like Durv is holding it primarily in that one hand. I guess it does depend. Yeah, it's they're just mirroring sprites as they need to. But, but, like, when you look at them from the same angle, right? Laharl's holding it that way, but Derv is holding it the other way. Yeah. So one of them is left-handed. <laughs> no, because Derv is holding it in two hands, and Laharl's holding it in one. Yeah, but he's holding it primarily on one side, right? That would be your dominant side, right? No, the hand that's in front is your dominant hand. Is it? Yep. It's baseball Pretty rules. Sure. Yeah. I yeah, feel, the hand I that's like if I, I no, if I hold the sword, I wouldn't be holding it. I wouldn't be holding it like I'd be holding it on my dominant side. I wouldn't be holding it on the other side. And I'm now just like picturing it in my. Anyway, anyway, we could easily ch check this out just by like searching. Is Far left handed. Alright, let me look. Uh, Helps if I type handed right and not gabbed. <laughs> yes, that would help. There's a female version of Laharl? Yeah! Here I come. We're gonna get to that game eventually. Years from now, probably. <laughs> Laharl Chan. Uh, it does not say his handedness. <laughs> I don't think it ever actually came up, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and you can't tell which is which angle is the default, right? Yeah. And because he can equip any sword, he doesn't actually have one in the normal hand. Or in his official art. Sorry, not any sword, any weapon. Oh, I can use words. And swords are his default, though. Yeah, but there's no art of him using a sword or a weapon. Derv, you're our lead. Derv and Medeiros, best friends. Best o friendos. That's what it's really all about. It's friends. It's it's a movie about family. <laughs> Jurassic Park is a movie about family. And how good they taste? Exactly. <laughs> just about to say that. Oh my god. Bonk. Bonk. Oh. Chaos Swarm. That was kind of cool. Uh, oh, if Medeiros had moved... Ah, he's still good to do it, I guess. Alright, Captain Crunch, let's go. That was one of my favorite jokes from Psych in the first season. Where they're doing oh, yeah, the Civil yeah, yeah. War reenactors. He goes, uh, I'm sorry, there's a Lieutenant Crunch here to see you? Actually, I've been promoted. It's Captain Crunch. <laughs> That's good. 
<laughs> oh, there's a lot God. of good bits in that. So many good bits, and you can just tell that James Roday and Delay Hill were having so much fun with it. I, I gotta catch, like, I gotta rewatch that at some point, and like I actually watch the movie. The movie was pretty good, but I actually hadn't seen um, the last season. Time for fun. So, I don't think I still... I still haven't seen the last season. You hit one enemy. Yeah, well, I killed it. Yeah, that's true. Um, shows like that, I find, are actually a bit more annoying to rewatch, Like, after the fact. They can be, yeah. Just because, like... It... That style of, like, episodic... Um... Show, like... Uh, uh, I've gotten a bit tired. Yeah. Um. What was I going to say? Uh. My problem. Well, the thing that. I used to watch Psych religiously. Like, whatever it was on, I'd be like, yeah, I'm watching this. Um. And then I fell out of uh, watching it because I got rid of TV. Mm -hmm. And this was before Netflix was a streaming service. So, or it was before Netflix had a lot on them, at least. Right. So, um, Psych, I stopped watching Psych around season six because I didn't have TV. And by the time I got TV back, it was like three years later. Oh, no. What is this? Warper. Team up. That was a fucking Persona all-out attack right there. Jesus. Let's see if we can get another one of those. You have to have Edna attack, eh? That was... Done. Mighty Axe! But yeah, uh, um, my brother used to live in Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. You know how many murders there are in Santa Barbara every year? Two? Historically, like, on average, zero. Yeah. Well, that's okay. They filmed in Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> you know how many murders there are in Vancouver? Slightly more. more. than two. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's like, I don't know. Sometimes rewatching those things can be like, not this, like, again. Mm hmm. Um,. Eleni's been rewatching House, and mm. because she hangs out in my office, I've been rewatching House. And it's weird how I haven't seen the show in like ten years, and an episode comes on, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is the patient with that thing. Oh. <laughs> but when when my mom is like watching shows, and that like um, I walk past like a s episode of Stargate SG One, mm -hmm. something like that. I'm like, oh, this is that episode where the thing and da 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 da. Yep. It's like, yep, nailed it. <laughs> just, I see like two seconds of an episode. Mm -hmm. Man, we do this. Now. Eleni and I can do the same thing with the entire series of Star Trek: The Next Generation. Three seconds, and we can probably tell you what episode it is. See, now I'm formulating an episode of uh, Third Trivia Trials. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a lot of clips of shows that could get to my so maybe not. I mean, I don't care about demonetization, so... I care about having fun. Why is Laharo so stubborn? Because he's an idiot. Demon. Huh? You kidding? He's always been like that. I don't think that's entirely true. You don't know him! Haven't you noticed? His emotions are slowly changing. Thanks to the I drugs that I keep slipping in. to the power of love. <laughs> I keep giving him crystal meth. <laughs> oh, so that's why you were so angry. Yes. That's a demon for you. You seem to have your hopes pretty high. But don't you think that asking for love from a demon is a bit ridiculous? You think so? Well, the prince's case is a bit unique. These guys just look like somebody, like, shit on their puppy. 
<laughs> or, agree. Or their puppy shit on the other puppy, and they're just like, yeah. I don't know what to do because I can't yeah. punish them. <laughs> And they're about to like look at each other and say like not it. <laughs> Unique. Yep. You see, his mother, oh. the queen, was an eccentric person. She was always talking about love and kindness. <gasps> Is Flan? No. Laharl's mom? No. That's not weird at all. <laughs> Is for well, demons. I didn't hate her, but I guess she couldn't help it being a human and all. Oh, just drop that a bomb human? in there. Yep, she was a witch who came here to study. The king fell in love with her at first sight, and eventually the prince was born. You know, it just happens. Don't ask about what happened in between. Is yeah. that so? You know, stork came by and we killed it and harvested like its demons flesh. Demons can love too. Whenever the prince did something bad, she would scold him because she wanted to raise him to be a kind boy. Maybe you remind him of his mother, Flan. That's not creepy at all! He's raised that way. Why is he like this now? She died. The queen died. Huh? Hey. A long time ago, the prince was infected with a rare disease that even the king couldn't cure. That's why he looks like a kid, even though he's 1,300 years old. one way to save him. I mean... Edna is older than him. Yeah. Which was... The life of one who loved him. Dun dun dun! Then... That's right. The queen took her own life, despite the king's efforts to stop her. There's entirely too much exposition happening here. It was at that point that the prince started to hate love and kindness. How sad. So unless his hatred fades, Lahara will have to live the rest of his life without love. Oh, that's just not fair. Maybe so. Life ain't fair. Deal with it. But I don't think that he's intentionally trying to hate love. Hatred isn't something that just disappears that easily, is it? Maybe you were a bit rough on him today. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, Flan. Oh god, the puppy is actively about... shitting out of the other puppy! <laughs> well, don't try to get me involved. <laughs> oh, he's finished. <laughs> and we're out. Okay. Laharo, clean up that shit. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Uh, a bunch of we geo symbols. A man's. They're all 28 now. Okay, attacks plus one. More attacks. Oh, uh, no. We don't want to go there. No, but we have to. That's the only way to go. Huh? No, we go that way. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so we want to take the attacks plus one and the enemy boost plus times three off and put on the, def the attack minus 50%. Yeah. And, and then, then and then fuck them up. Fuck him up! Here I come! Here I come. Damn. Oh. Good job, Laharl. That horse wiener's really working out for you. <laughs> it's giving him a very big confidence boost. Oh, Wait, damn. that hits three people. It hits Laharl, too. Darn, he'll live. So have somebody come out, lift Laharl, and then do the attack. All right, Flan, save him from love. Save him with love from love. Time for fun. From love with love. Pew, 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 pew. Hell yeah. Guten Jorben, Etna. <laughs> Guten Jorben. Let's just load everybody up down here. Let's get plein air going. Jelly 
belly. Cranch. Cranch isn't really going to be too helpful. No. Uh, derv. Derv! Look at him reverse gripping his sword like an asshole. Is he reverse gripping? When he walks. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you hold it like that when you're walking? I do hold it like that when I'm walking. Why do you ask? Exactly. <laughs> Asagi needs some levels. Hogmite. End turn. Only two. Gone. I'll finish this. Will you? I'll finish this. Rude. Rude. Are you rude, crude bag of pre-chewed food, dude? <laughs> Remember, it's not mean if they're assholes. Here I come. They're kind of assholes. Well, we don't even know why these guys are attacking us. Necessarily. All right, we got rid of attack plus one. It's a shame we can't take advantage of it. All right, Baldwin. No. Ah! Uh, wow, that no. actually was a lot of damage. All right, let's get Cleo. Uh, Mount Havoc can get out of there. Out of the way, out of the way. Move, bitch! Get out the way! Get out the way! Get out the way! Here goes that heal. <laughs> Not much. Not a lot. Watch out for those other fighters, though. Yeah. They'll come down. It doesn't matter if you're resistant, resistant to fire. Everything burns eventually. With enough heat. Do you know what happens to a frog when it's struck by a bolt of lightning? Same thing that happens to everything else? No. It explodes. <laughs> Frogs are notoriously explode happy. Ranch is gonna get that ranch. Heck yeah. Hop. Hop went to the weasel. Uh oh. I'll finish this. Uh oh. That was oh, no. rude. It hurt Cranch more than anybody. Be gone. No, sir. I'm okay. He stabbed you through his friend. How dare he? Yeah, what a what a chungus McDungus. What a butt fungus. Am I right, gamers? Oh no. Ah. Uh, oh. Ha ha. Okay. That magic pixel working for us now. <laughs> Who does maybe two work for. Maybe try Mega Heal this time. Um, Laharl, you go, you go fit the oh, other guys. We'll take care of this. I mean, Gigafire is probably a bit of overkill on that. I think the level is up for it. Get that spell at this I guess. Konga. Bonk. Konga is Dananga. <laughs> Chin. Giga wind. Wee. 
Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Uh oh. Aww. Can I get Oh. Oh, steel, it's kindness. SP! Oh. Alright, Dave. You're useless to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> But you made me do that. I was prepared to attack. I didn't make you do a damn thing. <laughs> I, I was voicing Derv there. Yeah. Oh, what? Well. <laughs> ah. No, Derv. No, not Havoka. She'll be fine. See? Totally lived. What? The Chingus. The Chingus. The Chingus. Chingus. It's you have a stroke while you're saying it. It's fucking Chingus from XCOM Files. <laughs> Dingus of the Dingus. Ow. 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 Oh, you're dead. <laughs> good try, buddy. Good try. Oh, he's confused. This will kill him. He's weak to wind. It does have a lot of hit points, though. Not enough. Oh, wait. Don't forget to put attack yeah. minus 50% on. They're probably going to move out of there, though. Not if they're archers. But, well, they got to move up to hit. Ah, crunch. I'm helping. <laughs> it's like, last time you had me pick up a geo symbol, it crushed me to death. <laughs> I don't want to hot potato my way through this again. Maybe drop a heal? Mecha heal. Four stack. Here goes. Use up all your SP. Derv should have gotten some of that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's fine. He'll live. Maybe. Watch him live. Like a boss. Boss? See, he lived. It's fine. Oh. Uh, Mega oh, I'm win? standing oh. next to Mount Mal Havoc. I right. Do that. What about... Could learn Giga Wind. <laughs> what about Overlord's Wraith? Oh, uh, Winged Slayer. Winged Slayer is pretty good. <laughs> Jesus. Tax zone obstructed. Uh, oh, no. Oh, you can do it. You just gotta move forward. Yeah. Oh, no, you can't. Huh? Not enough height. Huh? Oh... The the ending spot. Oh, okay. So, move to your I left do a bit. There. Actually, no wait. Hold on. We gotta move everybody out from back here. Okay. That's all. Is is that the only person who is in the way? Yep. Yes. Excellent. Execute. Fight that. <laughs> Damn! Yeah. Damn! Good job, Laharl. You succeeded. You done it. You done dude it. You do the do. <laughs> Mal Malavica just is that Malavica? Yeah. Yeah. This comes in and just Havoc like. Our wind. Don't worry, I'll clean this up. Let me just blow this away really quick. Oh, 
love her holy arrows. No. Oh, why not? Sure. Just might be on that. All right, Cranch. You're not going to be able to get over there in time, but I'm hey. helping. <laughs> I'm here too. Pop. Lord, give me strength. Bird. Close. Ha! Magic Pixel! Ah, not that magic. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Have him Pretty win magic. the day, please. Booyah! No team up either. <laughs> He's like, I got it. Damn, you're getting so much hell now. Forgetful staff? All right. Is there one more map here this time, or is it a fiver? I don't know. You've got the internet. I do have the internet. I've saved. Should we go in, or do you want to hold on here? I'm looking. Under the moon. Under the light of the moon. Uh, Go away, ads. It's the final one. Go for it. What are those? Shoes. Those are the souls of the Prinnies who've atoned for their sins. You know the legend, don't you? That inside the Prinnies are the souls of sinful humans. Dude. Yes, and they work in Celestia in the Netherworld to atone for those sins. That's right. Dude. The Red Moon purifies their sins so they can be reborn. What a heart-wrenching sight. Heart Edna, stop them! What? That's rude. Prince, weren't you listening? The Prinnies are being reborn. Shut up! I never gave them permission for that! Super rude. We'll drag them back here if we have to. Uh, I'm sorry? Hello. Who are you? Ah, you're a psychopomp. Gotcha. No one interferes. see about that. Those printies are mine. They're my vassals for all eternity. Are you worried? Yes, it'd be alive. Yes, it would be alive to say I was not. Okay. But I shall leave it to the one who loves him most. This music is making me have a fucking crisis right now. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Too somber. No, it's no, fucking... Now, now, it's, now it's amping up. Uh, okay. So we got some... Maybe twine. not. We got many, many of these guys. Mao. Rhea. Oh, these guys are different. Volak. Axis. Axis has how much HP? Oh no. $13.99. Good year. Not, not really. That was uh look up, look up $13.99 on Wikipedia. Tell me the first thing that happened. You're not gonna like it. First event, uh, Teamer the Lame captures and sacks Haridwar. Big class of 1399, good year. I don't see what the problem is. You don't see what the problem is? 
All right, well. I was incorrect. I thought it was the year of the Black Plague, but that was 1347, not 1397. Ah. See, we're recovering from the Black Plague in 1399. I mean, recovering is a strong term. We're breeding again. Lots of breeding. So there were no census records during the time of the Black Death. But... Generous estimates say that it reduced the population of Europe by a third. Well, I wasn't even alive back then. I know, it's what makes it very impressive. Uh, but it wasn't until about the 1600s that Europe's population got as big as it was before the Black Plague. Mega Ice! Ow. Ice Dance. Bye, Cringe. Oh. Ow. Oh, Black Branch. Oh! They killed themselves? They yeah. That Wait. was... Uh... Okay. Execute! Blade Rush! Not quite enough. You probably should have Flan heal before you move people away from her. Give me heals. <laughs> but not those kind of heals. I mean, if you want to give me those kind of heals, I'll wear them. That's okay, That's okay too. <laughs> nice blue baton. Ain't gonna say no. A free shoe's a free shoe. <laughs> I like to surprise people at work. Because I... for what <laughs> Come in wearing blue batons? No. It's, um... I work with mostly female co-workers, so they start talking about, like, special things they want to do, like, oh, we want to have, like, a dress-up day where we all wear dresses, or, you know, everybody gets a dress for somebody else, and then they kind of look at me, and I'm like, hey, you bring me in a dress, I'll wear it. And they're always surprised. I was like, I ain't gonna stop the fun just because, it's, you know, I'm wearing a dress. Do what I do. Hell yeah. It also helps that I really don't care what people think. That's it should be. Although I have been meaning to get like oh, a... I didn't yeah. see that guy there. I'm sorry, he didn't see you either. I have been meaning to get like a, a rainbow pin for my uh, security badge. Not too obvious, but not overly subtle. Ow. Ow. Oh. They didn't want to do anything, huh? Not yet, which is good, because they're very strong. <laughs> eh, that'll work. Um... Actually, let's, let's deal with these guys first. Let's put this one down here. Get the ice. Oh, gotta move up. Snow cone is not terribly well. Uh, well magic. Uh, yeah, she's she's leveled up, but she hasn't used her magic. Why do my magic muscles hurt? <laughs> she hasn't used them before. Punk kablam! Imagine if doing magic actually took your actual muscles. So, like, Harry Potter would be fucking jacked. <laughs> I mean, 
there's all kinds of stuff that says that if that like magic would require strenuous effort or stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna get that, right? Just goes over two or <coughs> one. I mean, yeah, it's three, three wide. Yeah. Here. Did I already say that? Oh, he can't reach. Too high. Too high. You could probably strike from next to that pillar. With a spear, okay. with a spear, with a spear. Yeah. Edna's already got it. Yeah. Fine. Do you have that, that side swipe yet? No. A darkness slash. Darkness slash. No. That'll hit Laharo. Uh oh. That's better. This is Edna is not very good. <laughs> or not Edna Flan. It's not particularly strong. Get that dimensional game. Oh, it's still that love. <laughs> oh, oh. How dare. One that's not weak to win or resistant to win. Definitely focus that one guy until he's fucking dead. Yeah, that's my my thought process. Remember, kids, 1,000 HP or 1 HP, it doesn't matter because you can still inflict full damage. They all die the same. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, that wasn't so bad. Kind of a oh. weird flex, but all right. Weak to ice, too. <laughs> right there. Let's send you down here. Let's try and finish that off. That's not going to be enough damage, but... Oof. Oof. Not nearly I mean, enough she, damage. She manages to do as much damage as Planair. True. But only on weakness attacks. Yeah. Fuck. Seriously, this song is like <laughs> tripping over itself. That's the point. Like meant to put you on edge. Ugh, succeeding. I don't like it. Poor Hog Miser can't even get in there. But he can help. Alright, Dave, you're not going to attack anymore. You're not going to be able to move now, buddy. That may not be a good thing. Win. Uh. Oh, you're resistant to win. Uh, let's send you down here. Actually, no. Not, not in a, um... Not in a... A I'm diagonal A part. diagonal part. An X. An X. Just blast them. Damage is damage. Oh, 
That's a pretty good combo. Bad. Oh. That, that wasn't great. Oh. oh, and he's paralyzed and confused. Would you say he's dazed and confused? He didn't even attack. Oh, now he's... Ouch. Oh. That hurt. That honks. Giga fire. Yoga fire. We're back now. This guy's gonna fucking die. Screaming. Oh yeah, he's dead. Now I'm just concerned. Oh, Laharl does not have you. We'll hold you back. Hold me back. Get. Didn't need to. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Oh, I needed that. A broad sword. That's right, dude. You shouldn't interfere with Death's work, dude. It's here to guide the souls of the Prinnies to the Red Moon, dude. If you truly value your vassals, if you have any love for them, then you should wish them good luck, dude. Good luck, dude. Huh. You sound just like that love freak. It's what's best for their sake? Yeah. That's right, dude. I see. Then I'll let them go. You understand, dude? Well, yeah. Thank goodness. Then I can leave without worry. Oh. You're going with them? All right. Wait! What sin? What sin did you commit? That's an oddly, like, specific question to ask. Yeah. I took my own life. Oh. All Taking right. your own life is a grave sin. It's true. Why would you? To save my son's life. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, it's Laurel's mom! <laughs> it's Laurel's mom! Oh. Uh. my death, my son shut away his feelings. But he's changing ever so slowly. It's all thanks to the wonderful people around him. My work here is done. The rest is up to my son. Say it. What? You're just going to leave? Not even a goodbye? Despite how much you love him? What cruel words you speak. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Juan. Yeah. <laughs> She's already dead. <laughs> of course I would like to reveal myself. Of course I would like to hug my son with my own hands. But I'm all I've got are these fucking flippers, dude. I'm fucking super dead. I'm just like in a fucking penguin costume. <laughs> but if we are destined to part again, then wouldn't it be better to watch from afar and leave without a single word? Okay, that I don't agree with. enough already. My silence is how I show my love. No. No, I disagree. I'm I think sorry. both of these people are wrong. <laughs> yeah. I tried to push my idea of love onto you without considering your reasons, without considering your feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> Prince, you've met a wonderful person. Dude. Dude. Prince. Take care. Lon, Edna, take care of him. And then she says goodbye anyway. <laughs> Fucking. Goodbye. Uh. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Yeah, they're just costumes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ugh. I don't like that. You don't and like that... the pretty skins? The red moon reflected in Laharl's eyes, swaying sadly. Also, this is why we can't blow up any of the prints. Gentle, loving mother who gave up her life to save her son. Correct. A son who could only accept his mother's death by denying love and kindness. I can't imagine how painful, how difficult it was for him. But I'm sure the red moon will wash away his sorrow. Uh, it's a moon, it's not water. Love. Huh? Huh? Nothing. Let's return to the castle, Flan. Oh, you did the thing! Haro. Don't call attention to it, Flan. When Laharo called me by my name for the very first time, I noticed that the red moon no longer shone in his eyes. He'd gone blind. <laughs> I'll always remember this sad tale of a mother and her son. This game has fucking whiplash, man. <laughs> like, oh man. We're you gotta stop the zombie that's got the horse wiener. It's the most dangerous weapon. Also, this is your mom. She's dead. <laughs> and now she's leaving you again. Christ. And right after this, we're about to have a fucking Etna anime God. <laughs> intervention. It's like, am I supposed to feel sad or like... <laughs> yes. Whatever your ore was going to be, yes. Also that. <laughs> Hooray. Warning, warning, a hero emerges to save the Earth from the vile clutches of King Lahal. Uh, His name is Captain Gordon, defender of Earth. Bonjour, I am your own personal Dark Adonis. With his beautiful sidekick Jennifer and multi-purpose super robot Thursday, Captain Gordon takes the netherworld by storm. Another fantasy of yours, mademoiselle? Who will win this cataclysmic battle? The evil king or the defender of Earth? Pardon moi, but no one is listening. Next on Mogul Girl Etna Stardust <laughs> Memoir, Episode 9, Invincible Captain Gordon. Soldier's tears illuminate the starry sky. Everybody, just ignore her. All right, so hold on the save screen. Um, I do oh, got to go into the next one so I can. Or do you want to talk about it first? I guess we got to go into the next one. Go for it. If I want to, you know. Yeah. Going. So the one of the things I do know about this game is that was the only thing she wasn't lying Nothing about. Beats having tea <laughs> <in outer> <laughs> Fucking hell. How beautiful the earth is. It reflects the nobility of my mission. Jennifer, how much longer before we go into hyperdrive? Let me see. Oh, <laughs> fucking course. <laughs> yeah. Damn. She's great. I see. Only five minutes until we say goodbye to the earth. Are you scared, Gordon? Hey, hey, you're joking, right? That sounds like a voice Gordon, I would do. <laughs> is afraid of nothing. You of voice all people should know that. You've been along on all my adventures. <laughs> right. Exposition. Beep, beep, blip, beep. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, blip, beep. Oh, sorry about that. Of course I didn't forget you, Thursday. Gordon keeps staring at Jennifer's thighs. <laughs> pervert, pervert. Perfect. Have you seen her thighs? Hey, no, we haven't you? actually. We've only seen her from the waist up. Okay, fair. Tea time's over, Gordon. Ooh, we have an incoming transmission. Looks like it's from the Earth Defense Force headquarters. Are they under attack by giant insects? I'm turning on the holographic projector. 
save our Mother Earth from any alien attack? Hi, you look good, General Carter. Does he? So, what can I do for you, Commander in Chief? You're moments away from entering hyperdrive. This will be your last contact with Earth. You have any messages, Gordon? Let me think. Tell everyone on Earth to have a grand parade ready for my return. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the hot babes and Pizza Shack's teriyaki pizza. Teriyaki pizza is delicious. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> I'm sure you don't need me to repeat this, but the Earth's fate is in your hands. We're counting on you. It's nothing I can't handle. How true. I pray for your success, Gordon. Gordon, we're about to go into hyperdrive. Okay, Jennifer. Hyperdrive engine number three, ready. All systems go. Number one and number two now, are about to explode. It's fine. Yep. Yeah. Don't need them. Engage. He said the thing. Engage. She said the thing. <laughs> The Extra only time she's not Captain fucking lying. Gordon, defender yeah. Of... <laughs> so stupid. Dude, friends, there's some kind of anomaly in the stellar graveyard. Invaders from another world? I have no idea, dude. I will not jump to that. Invaders? Are they angels who are here to take me back? I doubt it. That place attracts a lot of weird things besides stars. Flying saucers, probes, brain suckers, midgets with point fingertips. <laughs> oh my! That means there may be people who are hurt. Nah, E.T. can take care of them. Don't worry. Yeah. Let's go, Maharo. Fill them up with the Reese's It's pieces. probably just a piece of trash. Maharo! Jeez, shouldn't an overlord be doing something more important than this? No. no. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, now we're good. Um, yeah. Fucking the one thing she doesn't lie about, Jesus. All right, um, we're gonna stop there for tonight. Sorry for the shorter stream, but you know it's. Uh, I mean, we went until eleven. Yeah, we got uh, almost two, three hours good. out of it. But we got two chapters done, so that's pretty good. Yeah, good, good pace, good pace. Two chapters, a horse wiener, sad Maybe times. We'll be able to finish this year. <laughs> uh, thanks everybody for watching hope you enjoyed it uh, I'll be back on Monday to stream more Disco Elysium I might also be around on Sunday to do uh, Shipbreaker because I do want to finish that on stream I might just record that in my off time and finish it and put it up on the channel but we'll see um, that was a dangerous stream uh, but thanks everybody for watching hope you enjoyed make sure to check out all the stuff on the channel we got new stuff coming out I uh, just started playing Halo 3. Next week we got uh, the end of Resident Evil 4 and a uh, new series starting in place of that. So it's all going to be good times. But uh, you have no idea. Uh, have a great night. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you on Monday. Say goodnight, Bye. Third. Good night, Third.